In this video, we're going to look at configuring the term store in the SharePoint 2013 Manage Metadata Service. So to do that, we head over to Central Admin, then Manage Service Applications. This is by far the easiest way of doing it. We head down to Manage Metadata Service Application, and I click on this link here. That's the same as hitting the Manage button up top. Once this is loaded, this is the term store management tool. Every time I create a managed metadata service application, I get a new term store. That's the database that holds all the term groups, term sets, and terms. More of that later. And I get a new term store management tool to accompany that to let me configure it. So here we have it focused on the correct managed metadata service application. Then I have an option to import from a comma separated list. And I can click here and download a sample import file. That's a good way of bulk importing many, many terms in one go, rather than having to do it by hand. That's a good way of doing it. We'll see that in a subsequent video. Moving further down, I have the term store administrators. Now, because this one was created using central admin, it's added me to the term store administrators by default. I'm just going to delete myself from that and hit save. That kind of makes sense because I'm the farm administrator. I have the permission to create these. So what happens if I don't have the term store administrator permission is I can't actually do anything with the term store itself. So this would be great if I wanted to entirely devolve the administration of this to another bunch of users without taking that responsibility myself. I have no permission over anything inside, but I can give this to somebody else, including myself. So I can add myself back here. And when I say OK and save, I now have this little pop down again here and I can create new groups, etc. underneath my term store. What else I can do is specify a default language. And in 2010, we had the installed language packs. And if I wanted to add a new language to support multilingual terms, I would have to install the language pack first. In 2013, it's not that draconian. Instead, I can go down to other locales and simply select the languages I care about. So let's go to, I don't know, let's have a look at French France, and maybe German Germany, and Italian Italy. And when I save that, I can now specify a default language of, of one of those that I've just added. So now we're going to have a look at configuring the term store and configuring the managed metadata service application itself by going back to central admin, manage service applications. And if I select our managed metadata service application of interest, don't click on the link, but select the row. Now I can do things with the ribbon bar up here. For instance, I can specify other administrators. Maybe I would want to devolve permission to a non-farm administrator. So for instance, contoso slash Joel, and let's add me as a normal user to have full control over this particular term store. I'm automatically granted access through central admin to the whole thing and also through the site actions, site settings menu. I can also go up to properties and go back in and edit, for instance, the database name, the application pool, and later the content type hub. So that's the term store itself. If I click down to the proxy, there are some settings to configure here as well. If I, but I don't click on the links because that will take you straight to the term store tool itself. If I click on the proxy instead, this row, and then go over to properties, I have these settings here. And these apply to any web application that consumes this service app, or rather this proxy. And these are important settings up here. This service application is the default storage location for keywords. And this service application is the default storage location for column specific term sets. Now, it's very important that you only have one service application fulfilling each one of these roles in a farm, or it will all go a little bit wrong. If I try and set up another service app this way, I'll get some red text on the screen explaining that I should only have one configured that way. It'll let me misconfigure it and it won't work properly. So I'll need to then go back in and find the other failing service apps, proxies, and uncheck those boxes accordingly. I also get to specify how the content type syndication works. We'll look at that in a further video. If I would like to share this service between SharePoint farms, I can do so. I can do that by selecting the service app and hitting publish and then publishing over HTTP or 
over SSL with HTTPS, electing to publish it to other farms, and as we'll see later, creating trust relationships between us and the other farm. And then I can set permissions on that for what these other farms should be able to do. For instance, read access to the term store, read and restricted write, and full access. The benefit of this means I could have one central farm with perhaps services for search, maybe managed metadata, and so on, consumed by many other farms on our estate. Obviously, that's a large scale SharePoint deployment we're talking about there. In this video, we've seen how to configure the term store using central admin, and here ends the video.